my name is Andy Bühler. This is the drum code Paradiddle 4. Today we playing the we are playing the diddle para, which is the third one of the paradiddles. So we are starting with a diddle with a double stroke. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. And we are accenting the single stroke. So it's diddle para, diddle para, diddle para, diddle para. On the snare drum with the rim shot a bit closer to the rim so it sounds a bit more funky and not too rocky. If you're starting with that, just give take 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 the pulse into the hi hat or in the bass drum. Accents on the snare. That's version one. Version two is playing the accents on the tom toms. Sounds like this. Why are there two versions? I want to give you two different ideas of how to play this. Actually, it's the same technically, it sounds different. So, again, version one, accents on the snare. We are combining the diddle para with the para diddle. So, diddle para comes when we are playing the black spot. So, actually, number 15. Only black spots would sound like this. It's always four strokes per uh, per spot. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one time. Number fifteen, the f the four spots. So whole line number fifteen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One whole line, number 15, played with the snare accents. So, number 15 played with the tom accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that's this. So, the white spot is the normal paradiddle. Version one, together with the snare accents, we are playing symbols on the first stroke. Paradiddle, 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 right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. First stroke always on the cymbal. <laughs> With a kick drum. <laughs> so if you have a crash, or a right symbol, you can use this one. So I'm a poor guy, I only have a hi-hat on my left side. So I'm using this one, slightly opened. So there is a cymbal sound. That's the paradiddle. Playing when, when you play that when there's a white spot. Or we have the paradiddle version 2 on the tom toms. So, version 1 snare accents with a diddle para and symbols for the paradiddle. Let's hear number 5 black, black, white, white. Diddle para, diddle para, para diddle, para diddle, diddle para, diddle para, para diddle, para diddle. <laughs> and 
and the same thing, number five, with ver version two. All accents on the tom toms. Got it? So let's hear it. One line, number five, version one. One line, number five, version two. Here's number one, version one. Number number one, version two. Ah, again, three, four. Both. So you don't have to mix these two versions. I just wanted you to, to, gi to give both things. Um, it sounds different and it's actually cool stuff for fill-ins or even for grooves. I mean, if you play the version 2, only the, only the, the tom accents, and you, you take a, a foot pattern under it, like this, it's the Charleston foot pattern. see so that's the one thing version one totally cool as a fill-in So, go through the reading book. Uh, maybe sometimes it's good to pick only one number and to work with that one number and not to play all the reading book. But that's up to you. Don't forget the three spot section. There it gets a bit weird because you have to, to uh, do, do the, the hands turn every time. But you'll see, you'll figure it out. If you have any questions, write to me. I guess this stuff really sounds cool, it's fun to me, I hope it's fun for you, so see you soon, bye.